Hey, good afternoon, folks. This is Ignacio with North Star Senior Advisors, and welcome to another North Star Presents. Uh, really quick about us, we provide a complimentary service here in Central Florida. Uh, we do senior placement. We help seniors and families locate assisted living memory care options for families. Uh, today, I have the pleasure of joining me, uh, David Miller. Uh, David Miller is with uh, the Miller Group of Keller Williams Realty. David, thanks for joining me. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so I wanted to get uh, a little bit of an insight on what's going on with the real estate market now. Um, you know, obviously there's a lot of stuff going on in the media and there's a lot of stuff that has happened here recently directly and indirectly with COVID-19. So I want to get a chance to chat with you and, and learn more about the market, learn more about your services and how you specifically help the senior population. So um, do you mind letting us know a little bit about yourself and, and, and your company and your group? Yeah, absolutely. So my wife and I have been in the business for 14 years. Uh, we have a team of four of us. And uh, so we started in 2006, probably the worst time to start, right when the market was here and went crashing down, but we held on tightly. We survived. And uh, during that time, we've helped over 700 uh, families either buy, sell, or invest in real estate. And uh, we do specialize in helping the senior community. Wow, that's outstanding. You hung in there. It was a 2006 tough time for sure. It was. It was. Yeah. Um, so how would you say COVID-19 specifically has impacted the local real estate market? A lot of folks out there watching, you know, whether they're looking to invest, sell, you know, uh, or shake off an asset, you know, they're probably wondering it's now at a good time. What would you say COVID-19 has done right now for real estate here? Well, great question because obviously it has affected the market. Um, initially, uh, when it came into Central Florida, um, it really did affect the number of showings that were occurring on the listings that were out there. They dropped by about 65%. So that's just people not feeling comfortable about going outside and seeing houses with other people. Um, so it did affect it from that perspective. However, I'll tell you in the past two weeks, um, it, the buyers have really come back in the market. Um, uh, so, you know, uh, the main reason I would say is because, um, the inventory is still low and so there's not a lot of inventory out there. So it's considered a seller's market. So if you're a buyer looking, we've been telling people during the shift in the market, this is a good time to buy a house because before, you know, for the last nine years, it's been a very strong seller's market, which means there's been a lot more buyers and sellers. Well, since the buyers were reduced because they were, you know, concerned, then there's more equilibrium between the number of buyers and the sellers in the marketplace. So for a very short period of time, I've been telling people, you're going to have some leverage you haven't had in about nine years to buy a house because there's not going to be as much competition because there's not as many buyers out there looking for the property. So rather than getting multiple offers all the time, um, you're probably not going to get that. But I'll tell you that the buyers are already starting to come back. And um, in the last two weeks, um, it's been almost as busy as it was before the virus hit the market. Okay, that's good to hear, good to hear. I know a lot of folks, again, you know, the media does a lot, of, does wonder sometimes, but um, you know, the concern is, okay, great recession. Are, are we heading into a great recession? Is that something that can happen now? What, what would you say to the folks watch, watching, specifically to the real estate market? Is that something that you could see in the horizon? And if not, what would be different this time? Yeah, you know, I talked to some people that are concerned that, uh, hey, I don't want to buy now because uh, the market's going to crash like it did during the Great Recession. And, and really, I don't see that happening. A lot of people don't. And because the dynamics are very different. Uh, so for the Great Recession, if you think about it, it was a bubble in real estate. And real estate really brought us into that recession. I really think that the real estate market is going to bring us out of this recession. The big difference is, is that since there was a bubble back then, houses just became unaffordable and people couldn't purchase the houses. And when that happened, the inventory went higher and higher and then eventually it just crashed. So if you compare that to today, the inventory is still very low, right? I mean, there's only probably about two, probably about two to three months worth of inventory. Whatever it's below six months of inventory is considered a seller's market. So it's a very strong seller's market. The other difference is that homes are very affordable still. Um, one of the things they use is what's called an affordability index. And the affordability index right now is 140%. So what that means is if it was at 99% affordability, that means if you made the average wage for Florida, 
that you would have 99% of the money you would need to buy an average price home in Florida. So since we're at 140%, you can see that it's very affordable. The interest rates have never been this low before, and so that's driving the demand. So since money is so cheap, that demand is going to stay strong. And uh, so that's how it's really different. It's just a different – I do not expect the market to crash. Um, you know, if this drags on for a long period of time, then that might be a different story because I do know living through it that if you don't have a job, you can't pay for your mortgage and you can't have a house. Um, but uh, right now, in the last two weeks, it's really picked up, and I, I really see that continuing. Okay, good, good. I uh, appreciate that feedback. Absolutely. Um, now, as you as you have a variety of clients, you got folks that are you know your seniors. Uh, obviously, you have a specific program. We'll talk about here in a second. But when you compare helping the seniors and maybe those first time home buyers, maybe the younger population, what what would you say would be the differences between those two with what you do? Well, it's a really big difference. I mean. Uh, like I said, we've been doing this for 14 years and, and we started to notice we were working with more and more seniors and, and seniors have a different level of, of need. Um, you know, I always tell people, hey, when you sell a house, it, you know, it can be stressful. And when you, the older we get, the more overwhelming it becomes. And uh, what we're finding is that uh, seniors knew that they needed to make the move because the house was too big for them. Uh, they could not maintain it safely. They could not live in it safely. Um, and they knew they needed to do something, but they didn't know um, who to call, who to trust, where to start, what's the best plan to do it. Because if you've been in your house for 30 years, you got a bunch of stuff everywhere, right? I like to call it the mall of space, that if there's space for something, you're going to put something there. So um, what we did is we put together a five-step baby boomer transition program where we um, uh, provide a concierge type of service of trusted vendors we use throughout the years to sort of plug in to help them during the process. So you know, most realtors will say, I can help you sell your house, but where the seniors really need help is preparing their house to sell. Um, and it's a five-step program. Uh, I'll just mention very quickly, the first step is we do a free consultation. We let you know what your house is worth, how much equity you have in it, and then we determine, you know, your time frame if you're wanting to do something now or a year from now. That allows us to plug in the appropriate resources when needed. And then the second step is determining what are you going to take with you. And usually they're in a house this big and they're moving into something this small. So they don't need a lot of the stuff, but that's the part that's so overwhelming. Yeah, so we plug in the appropriate vendors to help them sort through that and help them determine what they're going to take with them. Is that king size bed going to fit in that bedroom at the new place or not? Um, so that's a, a very important step. The third step is once you know what you're going to take with you, what are you going to do with everything you're not going to take with you? Um, you're going to do an estate sale. Are you going to give it away to charity? Um, no matter what you want to do, we have at least three vendors for each category that we can plug in there to help you do that and take that stress away. And then the fourth step is getting the house in top showing condition. What we do know in real estate, when your house is in top showing condition, it sells for more money. And so we do have vendors, carpet people, painters, those type of things that we can plug in to do that. And then the last step is obviously to get it on the market, get it sold for you in a timely fashion and allow it to sell for the highest price that the market will bear. So that's the program we've used over the past couple of years. Uh, we're members of One Senior Place, just like you are. And um, we, we partner with you quite a bit because one of the biggest uh, 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 questions that people have is, where am I going to move to when I sell my house? And that's where your services come, uh, come in to allow them to do that. Yeah, no, that's great. You have a very thorough program because we encounter this, as you mentioned. We help our clients. Uh, when they're ready to transition and make that step into senior living, whether it's assisted or memory, uh, you know, all those questions come to play, you know, okay, we need to sell, number one. Okay, now we're, we have a sense of urgency, but there's more to just selling to your, those five steps, right? You know, what do you do with your stuff? How do you get your house ready? So that's, that's awesome that you guys can do that uh, and, and, and kind of be like that red carpet concierge to address all those needs. Now, real quick, what if, what if, a, uh, what if a cash offer, you know, what if someone wants to do a cash offer and just really move on it very quickly? How does that work? Yeah, we come across that. So there's times where people are like, hey, listen, I appreciate all that stuff, but I just, 
you know, I just want to get it sold. Can I just get a cash offer? And we have that option as well. Mm -hmm. um, our brokerage is Keller Williams. They have uh, what's called Keller Offers, very similar to Open Door or OfferPad. The big biggest difference is that you have a realtor uh, that's certified in doing it, such as myself, that can represent you through the entire transaction who's local rather than working with somebody in a call center in Phoenix. So under that scenario, yeah, you can definitely get it sold that way. You're not going to net as much money as you would, but that might be a, a, a better fit than having to go through everything else. It really depends on their situation, but that is available as well. Got it. And for the folks watching, David, what, what accreditation are you referring to so they know that, that you specialize in what you do with the seniors? So uh, from a senior perspective, we are, I am certified as a senior uh, real estate specialist, S-R-E-S. So that's a certification that um, – you have to go to special training too with the National Association of Realtors. Uh, there's over uh, 1.5 million realtors in the nation. I think there's only about five to 6,000 uh, SRES certified folks. So wow. there's a few of us. They train you on how the different housing options that are available, um, how to provide the appropriate services. So it's things that we've really implemented in that five-step baby boomer transition program that we were talking about earlier. Excellent. Good to know, David. So, um, folks, if you're watching, um, I'm going to go ahead and post David's information in here. But, David, do you mind telling us maybe a website, good contact number to get a hold of you? Absolutely. Our, the best website to go to, um, if you want to listen to other seniors that have used our services and they share their real-life testimonial with working with us, plus the additional information on the five-step program, you can just go to babyboomertransitionprogram.com. So it's www.babyboomertransitionprogram.com. And then uh, you'll find all that information on there. And my contact information is, uh, I think you're going to have it down here as well, but it's 407-323-4210. Uh, if we could be of any assistance to anybody, even if you're a year out or even five years out, uh, give us a call. We can help you with anything house related, maybe even get you in touch with the vendors, even if you don't use us. The one thing I'll mention is that whole five-step program that we do provide, people ask, well, how much does that cost me to do that? It doesn't cost you anything, all right? We, we don't get compensated until we close, as it should be at the end of the transaction. So there's no project management. We're just providing the services to make it as stress-free as possible. Excellent. Excellent. Well, David, I really appreciate you taking the time today. I think this is excellent information for those watching that are considering, you know, either selling or investing in the market now. So I appreciate you taking the time and uh, we'll share this information with our group here as well. All right. That sounds good. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Great to have you. Stay safe, sir. Thank you. All right. You too. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.